Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge 360. In this video, I will show you how to create a stored procedure in PLPG SQL language that is Postgres SQL. And uh, in that procedure, we will have several input parameter that is in parameter and also we will have one out parameter. And I will show you how to call that procedure, the stored procedure and also the PL SQL block that we will be writing for calling that uh, procedure. Okay, in uh, earlier videos, I have already shown you how to call a stored procedure, but in that uh, uh, videos, you must have noticed that there was uh, no output parameter. But in this, we will have some output output parameter. So I will show you how to do that. So for that, let's uh, create one stored procedure and the basic idea of this stored procedure will be here is the DVD rental database, the sample database. Uh, if you don't have this database loaded in your uh, database for practice, you can do that. I will give the video link in the description. You can get from there and also you can set up this. So what I want to do is in this procedure, I want to create a stored procedure where uh, we will have two input parameters that is first one will be the customer first name and the second one will be customer address ID. Okay, so on that basis, uh, it will uh, search for that customer and also it will find out that how much total amount of payment is done for that customer on the basis of this input parameters okay so one output parameter will be the amount of uh, a payment done by the customer okay so for that let's uh, write a stored procedure we'll keep it simple create or replace this is the basic syntax syntax if you remember in oracle also we do the same procedure and we can give the name like uh, um, i'm giving one out param uh, say uh, proc okay and we will have some input parameters such as right here you can understand better in customer name which is of in type see if i don't mention anything here in or out so it will take by default input parameter in parameter because that is the default parameter type in the store procedure or you, you can say function okay so this is in and it will be of a numeric type okay the second parameter will be in address id which is also in parameter and also it will be numeric sorry this will be character character varying because this is a name and we will have the output parameter uh, we can name it out payment or uh, suppose payment amount and I, I have to mention it out okay so let me format it better and what is the data type it will be numeric okay so when we give numeric it can handle both integer and decimal you need to understand and if you want to uh, specify uh, uh, that uh, it will be integer or it will be decimal you can also do the same but uh, i am taking it uh, as generic uh, so it will consider both okay so now uh, the this is the basic definition of our stored procedure now i'll write like uh, I need to mention the language. Language is we know PL PG SQL. Okay, as and we need to give the body. Okay, then declare here. And uh, as of now, we don't have, we don't need uh, anything to declare. So we'll write begin. And in the begin. Uh, as I have shown you in the year diagram of the database so I need to query from this database and point, uh, also I need to match the value from this okay so for this uh, we can do the join but uh, I am doing in it in the sub query you can try with join no issues it will work sum I can say amount amount is the column if you see there in two I can write like this the output parameter i want to put it into this okay from 
table name is payment okay the condition is where the condition is where customer id equals to i want to get the customer id select customer id from the customer based on where the first name of customer first name equals to the first name i'm giving in the parameter if you remember customer in customer and i can also mention the address id equals to i have taken here in address id okay you can also do like type casting things here but those are not required okay you can write like this uh, numeric or like you, you can do here uh, text so this kind of thing you can do but uh, it's not compulsory and it's not required here in our case okay but you need to remember that uh, these are also provisions to do so uh, uh, the thing is done that i am taking the sum of amount and putting into the output variable and this is the query ends and also i can do one thing i can handle the exception right like this when others then this is the end block and this is the end of body okay so when then then i can say raise notice if you remember i have already made, uh, made a video separately for this raise notice things raise notice i can write like this something went wrong okay so this is the exception also i maintained here and this is the complete procedure is created now let's create the procedure i can select this and do it okay the procedure is created and we can validate the same from here schema bleak and procedure okay so here is the procedure that we just created now okay so here is the procedure definition so now what's the uh, thing is we need to call the procedure okay so for calling the procedure let's uh, check the uh, check some data what are the data there available in the table so that we can check so let's, let's start from payment uh, let's say for the customer id 341 uh, let's do that where customer id equals to 341 okay, let's see how many data are there so there are lots of data there are total 22 record of data and amounts are paid in this i can also do one thing i can take the sum of amount here okay so this is found to be 103.78 for this customer id and now we need to see that data from customer table what is the address id because we need to pass the address id and customer name in the parameter i did it knowingly because i need to show you how to handle a uh, string parameter okay that will also be covered in this video from customer where you can copy this and also please let me know in the video or comment that uh, on which topic you want me to make the videos i'll do the same so first name is peter and the address id is 346 okay so now let's uh, go and uh, write a plpg sql block to call the store reserve when we have a parameter parameter you can uh, you may come across this scenario when uh, you are writing some function or some procedure so this is applicable to everything like uh, calling a store procedure with the output output parameter from inside a function from uh, another procedure so all these things are covered here okay so uh, i'm not creating a procedure or function separately to call this but I'm writing a simple PLPG SQL block to call the uh, procedure. Okay, the, uh, the procedure we just created. And I can write the end. This is the delimiter signs. Don't get confused here. 
okay in the declaration section i can declare one a variable say v payment v payment amount i can say it numeric and i can give a data type suppose 10 comma 2 and that's it and now let's say begin and within begin block i can call the procedure I can write like this call or the name of the procedure that we had uh, created this let me copy this much so that I can show you clearly what I'm trying to do so I'm calling this procedure in place of this thing this is the customer name parameter in that I can give here uh, the name of the customer that is the Peter and in address ID in place of this I can give the input parameter 346 and in place of this parameter thing I can give the variable name that uh, I just created okay. so the this will hold the amount okay uh, one more thing was there uh, okay uh, th this is created uh, and this is called now when uh, the value will be assigned to this parameter I need to show you uh, what is the value if we are getting correct value into this variable or not so for that I will use the same again as uh, you can say in that I can write like total payment amount is this okay uh, if you uh, if you don't know why I am doing this, you can watch my video. Uh, I have already made a video how to write uh, uh, messages like dbms output dot put line in Oracle. Uh, the same thing we can do in PostgreSQL uh, by doing like this. Okay. So this is done till now. So now let's uh, I have created the procedure and now let's uh, call this block. Okay, so the block is called and the total payment amount is 103.78 and the same thing we have seen here if you remember we have taken the sum for the customer okay so the, this is the same amount so this was about how to uh, get one output parameter uh, in, in from a pro stored procedure the same way you can do uh, for multiple parameters like as many parameters are there in the output out parameter you can do the same way okay else i'll make a separate video on this showing how to do it through multiple output parameters and also i'll use some complex example and some complex uh, concepts there so do subscribe my channel to get the notifications of my video and please like the video if uh, it was helpful to you in any way so Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.